Thousands fill the streets of Mandalay to greet opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Residents lined the road from the airport, eager to catch sight of her as she campaigns for April elections. The 66-year-old Nobel Peace Laureate has been drawing tens of thousands of people to her rallies since she kicked off her party's campaign about a month ago. An estimated 200,000 people showed up in Mandalay. Myanmar's April by-elections will be closely watched by the United States and Europe as they consider lifting sanctions. Sushi's party, the National League for Democracy, or NLD, is fielding 48 candidates for parliament in the vote, seen by many as largely a symbolic challenge to a government controlled by former generals. Despite irregularities in the country's 2010 election, diplomats and analysts expect the April polls will be free and fair because of the participation of Sushi. When I see the people of Mandalay, it gives me strength and also hope. I see that there are a lot of opportunities to do what we want to do for our country. The NLD enjoys enormous support in Mandalay. Change is not just a wish. For the sake of all the people and not only for the sake of Auntie Sue, we have to start the change in ourselves. Then other people will change. Then the society. Then the country. If the whole country changes, the whole country will develop. If the elections come off, analysts say it would be a powerful endorsement of Myanmar's fledgling democratic system. Deborah Luterbach, Reuters.